Okay, kids, what is the lesson of the day? Yeah, like I'm the Mr. Rogers of boxing. Well, listen, kids, I took off my outside boxing gloves, and I, I don't know, I could never relate to Mr. Rogers as a kid because, you know, my dad was a real working class kind of guy, I guess. You know, worked on the railroad. You know, he had muddy work boots. Uh, he worked on tie gangs and steel gangs, so it wasn't choo-choo train kind of thing. He was a foreman on the railroad doing some hard-ass job, which is technically kind of a construction job. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, you know, and he grew up working for his dad who had a logging business who worked his ass off, and he was in Vietnam and stuff, and so... Yeah, he was not the type that came in and took out, had like the inside sweater, outside sweater thing. I, the inside, outside clothes, I never could relate to it. Yeah, so I'm not the Mr. I don't want to be the Mr. Rogers of anything. And what is my point? Well, I do have a lesson. So I suck at jump rope. That, yeah, oh boy, I suck. And I'm trying to build myself up, you know, saying, okay, well, I'm going to keep working at this jump rope thing and my little boxing journey. You know, and one of the other boxing coaches who I'd worked with before, who, who was rather disappointed, or he gave me that impression, with my un, un, uncoordinated uh, performance, as uh, as bad as my seeming attempt to pronounce the word uncoordinated, which I'm going to blame on a blood-brain-oxygen thing going on right now, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, as I was leaving, you know, he... Him and my main coach that I normally work with, like, yeah, I've never seen him do better with the, I don't know, the catch and shoot, they call it. It was mainly like a right-left thing, and you're punching and then blocking and then punching and whatever. So I did good at some stuff. He does, like, little fist bump things. Like, doing good, man. Looking good. And I have to admit, you know, whatever the, you know, you know, there's women I work with, too, that box there, too. But bro, cis culture, whatever you want to call it, but... It's just, that's the lesson, you, you know, we beat ourselves up for things, but we also need to realize, even if there's this area of opportunity that we need to get better, there are other things we're already demonstrating progress on, and that could just as easily be, uh, you know, say in math, someone's getting better at fractions, but the quadratic formula is just beating them up, and yet they're getting really good at... Uh, fractions and uh, knowing how to add and subtract fractions a lot of kids and some adults struggle with adding and subtracting fractions even on paper when they have time to do it I'm not even talking about doing it in your head just writing it out on paper uh, it's a thing people struggle with seldom do you even need to add and subtract fractions in the real world for the most part unless you're like a carpenter or something but it can be frustrating if, uh, you know, you're an adult relearning uh, math because you need to get some degree or something, or just a kid getting through high school or whatever. But it doesn't have to be math, doesn't have to be boxing, but most things in life when you're trying to learn skills have these areas of these foundational skills and then these other skills. And, you know, in my case, not only was I never much of a fighter, I was never much of a jump roper either. So lots of skills. And uh, I'm going to say maybe as a fat man, jump rope is challenging, but uh, also as an uncoordinated man, I mean, I have a plethora of excuses, but you just got to keep going and doing and, uh, you know, positive mental attitude and stuff. So there's my Mr. Rogers boxing journey challenge uh, lesson thing. Ah, done.